You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. Vietnamese Foreign Minister Bui Tan Son has highlighted some important issues in Cambodia-Vietnam relations, especially the strengthening of trade, labor, diplomacy, and the South China Sea issue in a meeting with Prime Minister Hun Sen on Thursday, 20th January. EAC News reporter Sri Por Kong has more. In a meeting with the Prime Minister on Thursday morning, 20 January 2022, Mr. Bui Tan Son has mentioned the relationship between neighboring countries, Cambodia and Vietnam, which have been well maintained for 55 years. He has added that to celebrate the 55th anniversary of the relationship, Vietnam hopes to continue working with Cambodia to further boost the two country economic and trade stretch. During Cambodia's chairmanship of ASEAN in 2022, Boy Tan Son has announced his support for Cambodia's ASEAN leadership, in particular raising the issue of the South China Sea, which the Prime Minister wished to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the Declaration on the Conduct of Party in South China Sea, as well as the ethical negotiation in the South China Sea. Minister delegation attached to the Prime Minister Mr. Kalkam Hun has told reporters after the meeting between Prime Minister Hun Sen and Mr. Boy Tan Son that, in addition, he has stressed the importance of the South China Sea, especially this year 2022, the 20th anniversary of the DOC, and Vietnam will support the promotion of the COC. He has also added that Vietnam really accepts and congratulates the Prime Minister on what he has said about ASEAN. Trade between Cambodia and Vietnam is currently worth about 10 billion US dollars. In his speech, Prime Minister Hun Sen has mentioned his satisfaction with the relationship that has benefited both countries. He said what makes this relationship grow and provide such benefit is due to the peaceful border, cooperation and friendship, urging to continue to maintain this situation. At the same time, Prime Minister urged the upcoming Cambodian-Vietnam railway connection to boost trade between the two countries. Regarding the South China Sea issue, Prime Minister has confirmed that ASEAN Secretary General Lim Chok Hoi has provided the location of the ASEAN Secretary General base in Jakarta, Indonesia for the South China Sea negotiation, and meeting will provide a large hotel in Phnom Penh to negotiate it as well. Since this year is the 20th anniversary of the DOC, it is important to work hard to be successful in the future, Minister Kalkam Horn has told reporters. In 2002, while Cambodia was chairing the ASEAN-China summit, it has signed the Declaration on the Conduct of Party in South China Sea, which set the stake for a formal code of conduct to be followed. The terms of the declaration were established by the signatory country Alice, promising to resolve differences peacefully and exercise safe restraint in action that would complicate or escalate the conflict and jeopardize peace and stability. The South China Sea dispute escalated during 2013 when China began building the Spartley and Paracel Islands. The five ASEAN countries, including Philippines, Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, and Vietnam, are all in dispute with China over maritime and trade issues of great value in the sea. ASEAN Chair 2022 Cambodian Prime Minister Hun Sen announced three solutions to find a solution to South China Sea issue, the implementation of the Declaration on the Conduct of Party in the South China Sea, China will achieve the South China Sea ethic. However, he told the international community not to blame Cambodia if a solution could not be found, because no issue in the South China Sea has been resolved by any ASEAN chair so far. Also, do not despise Cambodia. The Prime Minister told to wait and see the implementation of Cambodia first. Sri Pokong, EAC News.